does she remember? I don't know. When we were released, we only got a glimpse of her face. I'm going to look for Sarah. Any ideas where to start? In my memories. That is true. The way you feel about people is different from memories. Feelings of love become a huge sense of loss when your memories are sealed. Those you've loved remain in your heart. You'll be able to meet her again. I'm sure. I've stumbled upon my daughter's death twice now. The first time she died, my heart was filled with despair. The second time she died, though, it wasn't despair that filled my heart. It was hope. If he won't die, I'll bury Gungora in so much pain he'll wish he was dead. We have all the time in the world. That's the hope that I live for. Liram helped me to live again. Ah, the all lived happily ever after. Kai, if the send-off tomorrow is too hard for you to bear... No, I'll see Liram off. It's my duty as her father. Good morning. You must be Miss Liram's father. Miss Seth contacted me. I'm here to assist in sending Miss Liram off. Where's Mom going? She will return to Mother Ocean, who brought us to this land long ago. Even though her body goes to the sea, you will still have your spiritual bond with her. Spiritual bond? Yes. Your souls as mother and son will always be connected. I'll need the family's assistance to get... Ooh. It's nothing to... We'll need flowers to adorn Miss Liram. I understand. I'll get lots of... Then, if you would take care of the torches, please. You all right? Yeah. Certainly. I'll have you... Well, then, the first... I need a save point.
Mr. Khan. Everything is prepared for Miss Liram's send-off. I don't see Mac around. He said he had some place to go, and, and then he ran off. Aren't you worried? Mac has a lot of guts. He'll be fine. Um... I'm your grandfather. You can call me Grandpa. Even though you're younger than Mom? Yeah. I'll stick with Kine. Saying Grandpa just doesn't feel right. Wow. Look at that, Seth. Kine's actually being nice. Huh. Well, he is a grandfather with his grandchild. Wow. I guess getting grandchildren can really change a guy. I don't think it's quite like that. I think I've got a pretty good guess where Mac went. Where? To get those flowers. I see. See, for us, we figured that as long as those flowers were blooming, Mom would stay healthy. So you protected them? Yeah. Mac and I, we both knew that Mom wasn't well. We wanted to stay together, even if it was just for a little longer. So we would pray to those flowers every day. Cook! Hmm? <laughs> the flowers. I thought I could show them to Mom. But they've already wilted. Those flowers. Wasn't it important to let them keep blooming naturally? Didn't your mother also say that? Well, wilting is something natural, too. I thought they would cheer her up. I never let anyone step on them. Oh, you dummy. Did you think this would make Mom happy? But these are Mom's favorite flowers. And they were also there when I parted ways with Miriam's mother. Your grandmother. Hmm? Huh? The fact that your mother treasured these flowers was probably tied to memories of those times. I'm sure your mother would understand your feelings. 
And I can understand them, too. You're a good person, Mac. You're nice, too, Kyle. I am. Yep. I thought that about you just now. Every time before this, total asshole. Go show them to Lyra, Mac. And apparently dead people look less sickly after they've passed away. Well, I don't handle these things too well either. Mr. Kine, take hold of the ribbons, please. These ribbons are the only thing that tie us, the living, to Miss Lyra, the deceased. Miss Lyra must now begin her new journey. Our final duty is to sever our ties with her in the form of these ribbons. Please watch Mac. He shall give us the courage to sever these ties. That is his role. You shall cut your ties with Miss Lyra while your undying love for her remains in your hearts. You said that even if we have to cut our ties, we still have our spiritual bonds, right? Yes, those bonds are eternal. Now, let us send Miss Lyrum off. Many ribbons from Miss Lyrum have been passed to her father. When all of them have been severed, Miss Lyrum shall begin her journey out into Mother Motion. Mac, with the lit torch you carry, trace the movements of the wands the attendees are waving. Those movements will convey the attendees' wishes and parting words to your mother. If you perform a move incorrectly, the attendees' good wishes will not be conveyed. When you correctly trace the movements with your flame, then the attendees will sever the ribbons with their flames to represent... When all of the ribbons are severed, Miss Lyra will start her journey. Are you ready, Matt? It is time, everyone. Let us sever our physical ties with Miss Lyra. What if our ties were purely sexual? Is this going to be awkward?
Someone put a motor on that coffin boat. That thing's chugging along. Lost use of his central nervous system. Was your mother happy? He's gonna be the next to die, isn't he, Kai? She was happy. She had lots of friends. Her dad was a really great person. Even the queen cared about her and helped her out a lot. I'm sure she must have been happy. <laughs> She always missed her climb. <laughs> and Grandma. <laughs> you don't cry anymore, do you, Kaim? You're strong, Kaim. I heard from Mom that you are immortal and invincible. It's amazing. <sighs> Dying. It's really great. Not necessarily. Why not? It means I see so many people that I care for, pass on, like your mother. You've seen it a lot? Yeah. I have to lose count. That's why you got so strong. But... It must hurt. It does. I want to grow up to be strong like you, Kaim. Even if it hurts. Even if it's tough, I won't cry. I'm gonna be strong. Hmm. Right. <gasps> Look, check it out. I'm back to life. I just knew it. I just knew Mom heard our wish. Do you still believe stuff like that? Don't you think Mom would have done this? It's gotta be because of her the flowers are better. Mom is close, and she hears what we say. It must mean she's with us, Cook. That's impossible. Hey, Kai, can't you get your memory back instantly? I mean, that would save a lot of time. Oh, you are so stupid, Jensen. Are you for real? You don't understand. Come! I care, too. You don't say. Huh? What's wrong? <laughs> Look at this. Mac went on again, and, and... Here, read it. I'm going to meet Mom in the Crimson Forest. I want to show her these flowers. Crimson Forest? Ah, kids. It's supposed to be a place where you go to meet the souls of the dead. But the Queen has forbidden anyone to go in there. Oh, but he went anyway, huh? That little... Oh. I'm gonna go look for him. Wait, Cook. <laughs> Wait. It's too dangerous. I'll go with you. We'll go too. What? We? No... Are you saying we? As in me? Yeah, I did. Look it. You know, the queen says don't go in the forest. I think she's very wise. 
I don't think we should go to the forest. I'm going to stay here and support the queen. Would you quit whining? No. Save me, oh my queen! Shut up and get moving. Oh, hey, let's go. Man, I am so not rested. Gee whiz, another hike. Oh, boy. Loot the dead woman's house. Alright guys, I think I'm going to call it quits for now. Two and a half hours of this game. I'm going to do something else for a little while and probably grab something to eat and I'll be back. So, see y'all later. I'll be back in a little while. A little while. Like, a little while means probably like 30 minutes.